Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior today. Bring you guys an absolutely next level gameplay. This gameplay is fucking insane. It's balls to the wall. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, what it is is 182 kills, non-lethal, with three DNA bombs. It is a triple DNA. Like, how fucking insane is that? Absolutely just literally like an insane gameplay. So, you know, I'll talk about it a little bit more. Um... But first, I want to say this isn't capture the flag, so it was a 20-minute game, almost. I think they game it just before, just short of 20 minutes. So it was like an 18-minute game, which is insanely long. So getting like 182 kills with three DNAs um, isn't like it's a lot easier in an 18-minute game than it would in like a 10-minute game of Dom. So that's kind of why it's so many. It's not like a world record or anything like that, um, or I'm not claiming a world or a world record or anything since it isn't capture the flag. So. A little bit more about it, like I said, three DNAs, and this, like, at the time I got this gameplay, my, um, ISP was throttling me, which means they were basically, like, fucking my internet in the ass, like, I've been using too much internet, too much bandwidth or whatever, so they just, like, cut down my internet speeds a lot and kind of screw me over, so my internet speeds was, like, one-fourth of what it normally is, so I was, like, lagging around the map, I was live streaming at the time, if you couldn't tell from the overlay, the face count, or anything like that. It's made it a lot harder to get this game plan. I easily think that I could have got a quad DNA bomb if I wasn't on a one bar for pretty much the entire like last round of Capture the Flag. So it could have been a lot better gameplay. And I think that once my ISP stops throttling me and actually allows me to like not lag, I definitely think I'll be able to get a quad DNA bomb. Maybe even a Penta uh, if I play fast enough and pretty much have a flawless game. So um, basically what I was doing in this gameplay is it is Capture the Flag. Now how Capture the Flag works is there's five minutes on one side of the map and then after the five minutes it flips to the another side of the map and then so you kind of play on both sides kind of like it does in domination um but if at the end of like the 10 minutes like regulation time like where you play both sides if no one has scored a flag or if it's a tie so like two or the each people like kept one flag or something like that then uh, it'll go into overtime and what the overtime is is it's the exact same thing as the regulation time but just again so it's like a 20 it goes from a 10 minute game to a 20 minute game so it's just freaking insane and um you know in game types like momentum or something like that your teammates always fucking cap out and they always in the game from playing the objective way too fucking much but in capture the flag what you can do is you can go grab the flag and you can be the one running around the flag so that guarantees that no one else will be able to capture the flag um unless you die or something like that so just run around with the flag uh, you get 200 points a kill when you're carrying the flag and you get a kill so um, it helps you get your streaks, your UAVs, your system X, everything like that a lot quicker. Or you can run Assault and get your Assault streaks way quicker, uh, which I might do and maybe I could get like a 250 plus kill game or something like that. So um, it's a lot of fun to do and I definitely rec recommend you play some Capture the Flag. Um, and like I said, as long as you're always holding the flag, your teammates will not capture it. Because they can't because you have the flag and the enemies won't capture it because, you know, they have nowhere to capture it since you have their flag. So um, the games can go extremely long and it is a ton of fun and I definitely definitely recommend that you try out this game type because if I can get it, it I, you know I'm not the best player in the world um, I just think I'm probably about average so uh, the fact that I can get a gameplay like this I'm just just thinking about what some of the best pub stompers could do in this game type so it's awesome I think this is so much fun like I said it's not really like legit like you can't really say like wow this is a world record since it is a 20 minute game um, but it's just fun to do it's definitely a good time and if you're having if you're bored pub stomping or you're tired of matching like sweaty kids playing ground war or other reverse boosters whatever it may be uh, you can just go ahead and hop into some capture of the flag and it's always a ton of fun to run around 20 minute game um, you can also do this in Uplink, where I think the game's 16 minutes total, um, and you can spawn trap a little bit harder since there's no respawn delay or anything like that. So if you get a full party, jump in some Uplink, a lot of fun, but then again, um, you know, you can't cap or anything like that. So I have a bunch of awesome, like, gameplays in the works, kind of like with kind of unique methods like this one or an uplink or stuff like that so i'm really pumped for the future of this channel really really am excited um if you guys do me a favor and comment down below what you've been thinking of the videos i've been doing the past few days like the cut comms or i'll tell a story or something like that so i do hope you guys enjoyed the video go and subscribe for advanced for content leave a like on this video if we can get 750 likes i'll love you all forever um yeah but that's about it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in another video peace out